We are playing Lady Blackbird. This is going to be um, part of our uh, little mini RPG series where we're going to be doing just like one day's recording of about four episodes. And this one's interesting. It takes place in a sort of steampunk world. And uh, there's airships. There's weird corrosive fogs. There's everything is going to take place literally in the air because if you descend below the air, you can die. There's, you want to stay above the corrosive fog, right? Right. This takes place in a setting called the Wild Blue. Uh, we described it before we started as like, imagine a world blew up and all of the pieces of it were now new planets. They each exist independently with their own little ecosystems and atmospheres and stuff like that. Uh, and they're all surrounded or surrounding this dimming star in this solar system. So adrift in the wild blue, that's what the solar system's called. It's the worlds of the wild blue float in a sky of breathable gas circling a small cold star. Scholars believe that the star is made from pure essence, the strange energy that sorcerers channel for their magic. This solar system is much smaller than you'd think. It takes about six weeks to cross from one side to the other on a standard sky ship. Most of the worlds of the empire are so closely positioned that it takes only a day or two to travel from one to the other. So hopefully by this time, I'll flash a picture of the map on the screen. But you can imagine this as being like different cities across a continent rather than actually different planets across a solar system. Uh, and then the lower depths, which is sort of the corrosive fog that I was just talking about. The heavier gases from a dense layer of fog below the sky of the wild blue. This fog is corrosive. People need to wear gas masks to breathe. And most airship holes will start to corrode after a single exposure. Pirates and other criminals sometimes use the lower depths to evade Imperial patrols and launch raids from hiding. Unfortunately, the depths are home to sky squids and other monstrous things. Oh, that sky squid? So you can oh, imagine as you guys squids. are flying across the, the realms of the wild blue, you'll want to try to stay above those, otherwise you'll face some perils. Uh, there's other locations as well that we'll get into once we find need to visit those, but there are different uh, cities. You can think of them as uh, Elysium, Olympia, Haven, Nightport, The Remnants. But yeah, we'll discuss those later on. Let's get into an intro and find out who Lady Blackbird is and what this is all about. Ooh. I like this part. Lady Blackbird is on the run from an arranged marriage to Count Carlo. She hired a smuggler ship, the Owl, to take her from her palace on the Imperial world of Elysium to the far reaches of the remnants so she could be with her once secret lover, <gasps> the pirate king, Uriah Flint. Yes. However, just before reaching the halfway point of Haven, the Owl was pursued and captured by the Imperial cruiser, the Hand of Sorrow, under charges of flying a false flag. Oh no. Even now, Lady Blackbird, her bodyguard, and the crew of the Owl are detained in the brig, while the commander of the cruiser, Captain Hollis, runs the smuggler ship registry over the wireless. It's only a matter of time before they discover the outstanding warrants and learn that the Owl is owned by none other than the infamous outcast, Cyrus Vance. How will Lady Blackbird and the others escape the Hand of Sorrow? What dangers lie in their path? Will they be able to find the secret lair of the Pirate King? If they do, will Uriah Flynn accept Lady Blackbird as his bride? By the time they get there, will she want him to? <gasps> Whoa. The drama. Ooh. So we do have our four characters here. You guys sort of alluded to who you guys are. Let's go ahead and start with Ash. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm, I'm Lady Blackbird. I'm also, my, my actual name is Natasha Siri, or it's unclear to me on whether or not that's my in disguise Natasha name. Natasha Siri is your in disguise name. So okay. that is the name that you're giving to people. You aren't going to let them know that okay. you're actually a princess in disguise. Sure. I guess with that said, is it up to me or is it sort of known to the, my crew here that I am Lady Blackbird? Well, if you look at your traits and your secrets, you should... Keep that under wraps. You don't want anybody to know that you're actually the princess. At least not now. Okay. Um, and then beyond that, uh, Lady Blackbird is, like Rick said, uh, an imperial noble in disguise, escaping an arranged marriage so that she can be with her lover. Yeah. And I did mention um, the traits and secrets that Ash has. So in this game, every character has some traits um that are keys rather or not keys um it is the traits right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah traits. traits so the traits have like a general description of what the trait is and then they have different um sort of uh what would you call them um 
like mini traits, like examples of what the traits do. So descriptors, descriptors, of like sure. Examples of like how you can use your trait. Right. So the traits will be used um, when you guys are in a situation where there's a check, and you'll say, "I can help with that check because I have this trait." Yep. Uh, in addition to that, there are keys when you. Um, Succeed in using your key, which is usually something um, that is unique to your character, something that specific that happens within the game. When that happens and your character succeeds in that key, then you will gain experience. In addition to that, each character has some secrets. So yeah. we'll find out more about that as the game progresses. So uh, I have a question about these secrets, actually. Mm -hmm. um, when we want to use those, yeah. like... It's, it's hard to say because like am I supposed to keep them secret because like some of mine like I feel like I don't have to necessarily I mean that's up to you uh -huh. the the rules don't really okay. specify that okay. you should keep those secret gotcha. but I think that it would make for a more interesting story no sure sure and, and so I'm just thinking like you know but I could reveal to my friends one of yes. my yeah. secrets <laughs> if it would help us get out of a definitely or absolutely yeah. yeah got it and next up, Anna. Uh, I am Cyrus Vance, an ex-imperial soldier turned <sighs> smuggler and soldier of fortune. I'm also the captain of the owl. Yep. Yeah. I'm shuttling everybody to and fro. You must be paying me a good price. Yeah. It's your reason you guys all get captured. Yeah. Uh, my traits are ex-imperial soldier, smuggler, survivor, and warrior. Ooh. I'm a badass. Going around Also, Ted. Price, I have to apologize. <laughs> I'm going to try and do a southern accent. Oh, well, I'm not from the South. I'm from Texas, so you're fine. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Uh, my character is Naomi Bishop. I'm a former pit fighter and bodyguard to Lady Blackbird. You're I'm strong. protecting you, Ash. You're strong. Mm -hmm. Look, I keep telling you, you can't go after these bad boys. It's just you're making my job so much worse. <laughs> um, she just this, loves the bad is this boys. The, is this not the first time this has happened? This is not the first time this has oh, happened. Oh, wow. But that's a story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> it feels um, like we just got back. <laughs> my traits are, as I'm a pit fighter, I'm also a bodyguard, I'm an ex-slave, and I'm very keen. All right. That's what I say about you. Yeah. You're quite keen. Quite, quite keen. He's keenest. Oh my goodness. I, I hope at one point in one of these sessions, I carry Ash. I can't Body wait. scarred style out of a situation. <laughs> that, that's going to be entirely style. up to you guys. Oh, wah, wah. Anyway. I've never and seen bodyguard. Oh Basically, like going. him cradled like a baby in I mean, her arms. You <laughs> that's, know? Very, that's very Ash. Yeah. 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 Sweet baby Ash. Sweet baby Ash. Fa la 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 la. All right, Bryce. <laughs> I will be playing uh, Snargle, a goblin sky slayer and pilot of Slayer? the owl. Slayer. Uh, sky sailor. Uh, so I'm a pirate. I'm a sky sailor. And I'm a goblin. And goblins have certain abilities that are associated with goblining. Um, Is and that true? I'm also pretty sly. Yeah. So, so yeah. you're kind of like the, what, like the, the wash to... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm the pilot. Yeah. So and I'm as uh, um, Nathan Fillion. <laughs> yeah, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. To Anna's <laughs> castle. Yes. Castle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Frank Castle. Is that his name? I don't know. Some making up names. <laughs> Frank Castle. Frank Castle sound. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I was like, I know that's a real thing. Sure. <laughs> Surprise sure. is Baby Yoda, and you're the Punisher. Got it. Yeah. Figured it out. I like this. This world is great. I know, right? Okay, so um, as we begin, uh, as uh, I said in the intro, you mm -hmm. guys have been captured. You guys are on the Hand of Sorrow. Who, who Captain was it? Hollis has Captain you captured. Hollis. Yes. How, okay. Describe to me Captain Hollis. Captain Hollis is um, a no-nonsense commander, kind of, you know, maybe 6'2"-ish, you know, broad shoulders, kind okay. of what you would imagine from like a... Um, a hardened uh, soldier, you know what I mean? Yeah. Spent 20 years working for the Imperial uh, Navy, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. Real um, crew cut looking. Kind of like a competent um, Zap Brannigan. Okay. Okay. The Hand of Sorrow sounds very menacing. Yeah. But does he still wear the little cutoff skirt? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's standard uh, issue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Standard issue. Yeah, and I mean. I mean a little bit more standard on him, if you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you guys are in a prison cell right now, okay? Mm. Just the four of you guys. <laughs> yeah. And that's where we begin. So, so it's, we're just by ourselves. You guys are, it's just the four of you contained okay. in this prison cell. Do, do the rest of us know why we were contained? Um, well, that's up to uh, Vance. If Vance wants to okay. be forthcoming with it. information, because you guys yeah. were captured because Vance is piloting a pirate sure. ship. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, 
Well, I don't like this one bit. This, this is place, awful. This place smells foul. I know. When was the last time we cleaned this place? It was probably years ago. Wait, what? Did you clean it? No, why would I clean this place? I guess... Uh, yeah, well, why would I clean this place? Why? This is a really strange line of questions. Why we is, need to figure out how to get I out I think of the here. more important question is, why are we here? <laughs> well, we're here because we got a uh, flag down for having a for having a false flag. You have I mean, put the wrong flag. Aren't you the pilot? I am Would the you pilot. have known this? I am not the flag bearer. We don't it's really, not my job. We don't really have a flag bearer, per se. Wouldn't why? that be you? I'm sorry, why did we hire this crew again? Well, because they, they, we can fly. And they were the only ones willing to go out to where we needed to go. It's true. We'll go anywhere. We'll go down to Chili's if you want. <laughs> oh, so where, where, where is Chili's? Uh, Chili's is uh, it's, uh, in Olympia, <laughs> South Olympia. Yeah. I actually know the owner to Chili's. Ah. Um, I you... worked there when I was a, a, wee, a wee youngin. It's closer to the Cold Star, so it's really cold. That's why it's Chili's. Exactly. Ah. I, I love their frozen yogurt. Got it. Same. Got it. <laughs> The frozen fish ain't too bad either. for the fro, yo. All right, I'm not going to do this for you. So you guys, you, you, you notice that the cells of the Hand of Sorrow are, they're big, walled in steel, and there's a uh, a door with a heavy Wait, are we in the on it. Are we in the brig of my ship, or are we in the no, brig of the other ship? you're on the brig oh. of the Hand of Sorrow. That would have been nice if we were in my yeah. ship. They currently, <laughs> they, they have your ship. You can imagine it like the uh, Imperial um, yeah, like uh, Star the Destroyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they've they've, to they've taken Swear, your ship uh, in. Uh, it's uh, in the holding uh, bay. Uh, okay. All right. Can we see through, like, is this like a, a like a room that we're in? Or are we actually, like, actually in, like, this brig with jail it's it's cells. a it's a room that is uh, three steel solid steel walls. One wall that has a solid steel walls, but it has a door with you know maybe a few of the uh, iron bars, so you can sort of see through a window in the door. But okay. ain't nobody like sneaking through those bars. No, it's like a small. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. Does, does anybody know how to pick a lock? Well, yeah, but I'm a little you know like we probably need some stuff for it. Probably. Mm, um, does anybody have a, a hairpin? Ooh, tricky. maybe. Hold on. Nope, that one's important. This nope. Yes. <laughs> Can I borrow that? Sure. My. F okay, that'll work. There you go. Okay. Snargle. But, all right. I mean, like, I could, I could try, but like, uh, do we know what's on the other side of the door? Like, if there's a guard just waiting there. We and, don't know, but we got to get back to the owl. We have a very important mission well, to complete, and then I we're mean, going to Chili's. Why don't you just talk to the nice captain man and I tell him, "Oops, forgot my flag." And then he'll let us be on our I own. Can, I guess I can do that. That might work. It might be just easier just to sneak on back to the ship without maybe, even being noticed. Maybe he can loan us a flag. Is there like a window? I don't think that's how this works. The door? There is a small window. You can imagine okay. like it's a maybe a two foot by two foot uh, window on the top area of the door. That has some iron bars. Okay. In it. Uh, can I can I look through? Sure. Is there any other guards outside? You can see that there's a guard sort of patrolling the hallway there. Through the window, you can sort of see it's a hallway, and opposite you, another cell, lines of cells all okay. the way down. Do we have any? Did they take our weapons? They confiscated all your stuff. Yes. Okay. All your weapons are gone. Poo -poo gotcha. Heads. Mm hmm. hmm. Well, so. did they say what they wanted from us so that we could just get out of here? Like, what is what's the what's the punishment? I mean, I mean, they didn't really give me much. They aren't the most talkative group. We could try and talk to them now. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. What? Gu guard. What do you want? Um, I want to know why exactly we are being detained and for how long? Because you're filthy pirates. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's a little bit of harsh language. <laughs> why else would you be flying a ship with a false flag? You guys are hiding because something. Because our flag is in the shop and we had to have a flag. <laughs> that is the oldest excuse in yeah, the book. Yeah, you think you, I haven't heard that one? Sir, I mean, I'm sure Do you happen to have a flag truth. that we could just borrow for the time? I'm sure it's just an honest mistake. If you it give us a, a flag, we'll just mistake. be on our way. Look it. All right. I, I wasn't born yesterday. I know what you're trying to do, okay? Just because you are clearly a very nice, well-dressed young lady. What are you doing with these people? They they seem out of your element. You're right. Clearly, she is not a pirate. Which means that clearly, we are not pirates. Why because why would she minute. associate with, with pirates? pirates? Exactly. Because I think what we have here is a kidnapping situation. I've heard about a this. kidnapping? Have you been kidnapped? Have you been kidnapped? You? I have not been kidnapped. They've got a, they've fun, got a thing that's called Nightport Syndrome. All right? When you're kidnapped and eventually you start to, 
you start to sort of like empathize with your your captors all right so if you if you guys want a kidnapping charge add it on to your false flag charge no keep no. talking hold on. hold on if you think that she's been kidnapped then why don't you let her free because yeah. i i don't know what you guys have convinced her of for all i know you guys you've she's been gone too long She's, she's in too deep. Are you accusing the kidnapper of now kidnapping herself? Look, we don't know. Is and I'm just a guard. Possible? I can't make these decisions, all right? What's, you guys, can we keep please, it down. Can we please speak to your manager? Yeah, or, or, <laughs> wait, what, what did you say your name was? My name <laughs> is, oh, I love it. <laughs> That's for you, Patrick. Abel Bowen. My name is Corporal Abel Bowen. Corporal Abel Bowen. You look like a, a strong person, a smart person. Can well, we speak to your manager? You don't think I'm a corporal being a dummy. <laughs> the answer to that is no. Well, why not? We've been very nice. We have not caused you any trouble while being here in the break. Okay. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this so we can right the wrongs well, and get I'll, on I'll, our I'll tell you what's at the bottom of this. Is there any a other court drugs? trial? And trial. probably a long time in jail. So actually, I don't got time enjoy your time in the brig because this is pretty nice compared to the prison. Is cool. there any other guards besides him that's patrolling? No, no, he's okay. on patrol right now. Uh, I walk up to the door. Okay. And I grab him. Ooh. And I like, hit him as hard as I can through the door. Okay. Oh okay. Oh well, I'm to knock him out. That okay. is a lot. That, that's going to be a check. All we right. Attempt to knock him out. We're going to call that. That's a. We'll call that a three, okay? A three. So this is a good time to talk about the the combat and the sort of check system in Lady Blackbird. So there are varying degrees of difficulty, one through five. Three, I think, is a moderate difficulty. You are mm -hmm. a strong person, though. I'm very and strong. And you'll get to roll one dice just by default. Every player has a dice pool of seven dice to draw from. So the way this will work is... Jasmine will have to roll at least three dice and then roll a four or above in order to succeed and meet that threshold. Okay. okay. Now you can draw the extra two dice from your dice pool, or you can add a dice for every single trait that you have that might help you in your attempt to knock out the guard or do whatever. Okay. So how many dice do I use from? So you, you, you need to pick traits that you would apply. Yeah. So the, the difficulty is a three. So you're going to need to roll a perfect with at least three dice or you're going to need to add more than three dice in order to up your odds. Okay, I'm just saying um, I start with three dice to do this and then I use my seven no, dice no, no. to add So one. you start with one so dice. start with one. Okay. So then now you could probably say pit fighter. That mm -hmm. probably yeah. counts so then add another. Okay. Then you could probably go like combat um, tested maybe. Would yeah, that count? Thinking sure, of. Yeah. yeah. Maybe brutal as well. Or strong. Or strong. Yeah, that one you don't strong. have yet. That one you oh. don't have yet. Because in brackets means you oh, can earn those, those later. Oh, those brackets. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do brutal. And then I think you could also do combat tested, right? I think you can do as many. You can do as many as, as are applicable. Yeah. So yeah, but you I can, don't want to use all my dice. No, you're not no. using them up. They come, yeah. well, anything you use with traits comes oh, back. Oh, okay. Yep. It's only the stuff. So like, if you were to add more dice now, but you have nothing else that okay. you can apply. So Jasmine from your has the trait pit fighter, and then underneath those, the descriptors is combat tested, mm -hmm. brutal, as well as like. Even fast. So be you could use living included. weapon as well. She only needs a three total, so isn't she guaranteed? No, 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 because no. she's going to roll all three of these dice, but every one of those dice have to roll at least a four. Or more. Because what you're doing is you're trying to get three dice to succeed. Think okay. Armello. Oh, right, so not every dice weapon. then. Wait, three right. of the dice need to do... Exactly. So not. if you only roll three dice, you have to roll perfectly in order to make it, this I check. I would say okay. Armello is probably the closest yeah. comparison. So to be before you roll the dice, though, could I add in one of my oh. traits to help? You could. So, so that is another interesting aspect of the game. If you don't have enough uh, dice in your pool or you don't want to waste all your dice on a single check, then your compatriots can give you dice from their dice pool if they have a trait that would help you. Okay. I would so how would you help them? Well, I would say smuggler because I've got, I can, I have haggle and deception, which I was distracting the guard. Yeah, you can do oh, that. Yeah, so, so, so why don't you guys decide you what you want to do and then let's describe what you're doing here. Okay. So, Anna, you are distracting the guard? Uh, yeah, because we were in a very good conversation. Uh -huh. I was going to try and speak to the manager so we could right these wrongs that have been happening. Okay. And I really just want to set things right, you know, because what, Abel? Mm. What was his name? Abel Bowen. Abel. Abel is a, a, good, a good kid, and I don't want Abel to, you know, get messed up or anything like that. So, I think we need to just have a nice little talk, and while I'm having this conversation... Wink, wink, over that way, or like do a little hand gesture. Oh, okay. This is a hand gesture for <laughs> this, you. This little, okay, kind of, you know, tickle the palm. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, 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 so. All right, so I'm gonna roll five dice. Okay. For a three. 
Okay, and so just to clarify, Jasmine is rolling her base dice. She's also going to use Pip Fighter, Combat Tested, and Brutal. And li or Living Weapon. And Living Weapon. Yeah. All right. And then, and then Anna gave you an extra one, so you actually can oh. use six. Okay. Yeah. All right. And she's got to roll at least three fours or above. One, One, two, two yep. three. She yep. she meets the check. So do I lose? Do I get this? I dice think you back? lose that. You lose, that's a you, any any dice you use from your dice pool, you lose. So go ahead and just put it put it in dice gel. Yeah. That'll that'll be where the so, dice live. And so because what it says is, if your character's in a position to help, um, you can give them a die from your pool. If she had failed, you get it back. Okay. If she succeeds, it goes oh, okay, away. okay. And also, if you fail, you'll get your dice back. Jasmine will also earn an extra dice for her dice pool. Right. So every time you fail a check, you will earn, but you will also suffer a condition. Yeah. There are different conditions. Mm -hmm. Injured, dead, which doesn't necessarily need, mean dead. It mm -hmm. could mean presumed dead. Mm -hmm. uh, tired, angry, lost, hunted, and trapped. So yeah, no, I do lose these dice. No. No, you only lose dice from your dice pool. Yeah, so those are now no longer used. No, 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 no. you didn't use any from your pool. Because you use dice that are based you on use traits. traits. So oh. your pool is like yeah. freebies. Like yeah. these are like extra points that if you don't oh. have traits, then you're like, all right, these are my like. Because trait dice are going to come and go. They're never permanent. I will say that it is a little confusing. It is. It's, yeah. it's, it's a little. Can, it's a little confusing. You can think of the dice pool as like fate points. Yes. Okay. And so you didn't use any of your fate points. You okay. Just used your absolutely. Abilities. All right. So basically, what I did is I was starting to get really bored yeah. of this conversation, <laughs> and you guys are arguing like about just complete nonsense. Uh -huh. So I see uh, Cyrus over here give me the little, little wink. And as he's like completely distracted, I basically grab the guard by the neck uh -huh. and I kind of yank two or three times really hard Ooh. against oh, the bars. Oh, oh that's oh, and I can't look to like oh. knock him out. Okay, yeah, oh, it, it, and it is yeah. bloody. All right, oh, yeah. oh. like yes. like the first time you slammed poor Abel's face into the bars, he was he was knocked out. Like <laughs> that one time would have done it. Yeah, but you thought you know what? Third time's a charm. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, no, th oh. there's there's some specks of blood on you and uh, Vance now. So um, there is a crumpled guard at the bottom of the the door, and okay. you are still locked in the prison cell. I still. I, I, after I drop him, I look out and I'm like, "There's no more guards. Pick the lock." <sighs> well, what? He probably might have a key on him. Well, I, I like. I dropped him. Yeah. Yeah, but like he's We're I, behind a door. I dropped him. I grab I grab Abel's foot and I like pull it. How? We've got How? We're in the door. It's like a window that's like it's a window of bars. So like we're in a door. So you can fit your the window that oh, I grabbed okay. him from. Well, then. You can fit your arm through it, right? Well, I'm imagining he's down here crumpled on the floor. Yeah. Darn it. Um and we gave you a hairpin. A hairpin to pick the lock. Yeah. I'd, yeah, do do any of you guys have a skill that might Contribute to picking locks. No, so I thought I did because I, I saw a skill called Tumbler, but it means literally tumbling. <laughs> um, I mean, so I am also a smuggler, so there, I feel like yeah, I, like I, I have an idea of something I can do, but it's really embarrassing. Uh, well, now's it? not the time to be embarrassed. We gotta get out. <sighs> okay, no, we gotta get back. To all right, the all right, all right, all right. Everybody, just look away. I look away. Just look away. What? what? Look away. I do. I do. What? Actually, I do one of these. Calm I do one down. Of these. So I'm these very layers. embarrassed. But goblins have the ability to warp their shape. Whoa. They okay. can, I think you can like grease up and squeeze. Yeah. Through. So they can um, make themselves shorter, taller, fatter, thinner, etc. You. You know what? I was gonna suggest you're like <laughs> a kiff. To uh, Zap Brannigan, and you kind of are. Yeah. yeah. So I essentially what I do is I make my I start to grow like taller and skinnier, <gasps> so I can stick like my the arm baddie from X Files, yeah, like through the little thing and then down, and then I'm like, okay, um, okay, uh, and I'm reaching around for it. Okay. What What are you doing? Are you reaching for the keys? Look, or are you yeah, I'm looking not, for the keys. I'm not okay. looking. No, that's the. Oh, jeez, you really got him. Oh, I think I got it. And so then I. Do I grab the keys? Am I, did I? Could I let's, find it? Let's let's do a check. All right. How do how do we check? That? Let's let's do a three on that as well. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do um, a yeah. So I get one. So I'm gonna use goblin and warp shape. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Could here. I apply? Do you think sly also would apply? Um, crafty. Cra crafty, crafty definitely. Okay, I can use crafty. Definitely cry. I was gonna say sly. You don't need to be sly because they're already. Dead, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully knocked out. Maybe dead. Uh, and then I guess beyond that, I can. Um, I guess I can pull from my pool. Let's see here. I'm trying to think if I have anything that would help you in this particular situation. 
I have in no. Oh, we also have agile. Would that apply? Sure. Um. Okay. He's doing a three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Teeth and claws. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teeth yeah. hook him. Claws. Use my claws to okay. hook him. Sure. All right. I'm gonna be pretty forgiving. I mean, like my, my thing is like I'm just like, again like it's just one of those things like I want to use everything yeah. I can, yeah. and I, I want you guys to get out of this jail cell as well. So, does anybody sure. else want to help, or you think this is good? I, I don't no, have. No, my eyes are closed. Not right. sure you got a 50 50 chance. Yeah, 50 50 chance. You need a three. You got six dice. Can well, I actually, look, can I look away slightly. Yet? Hey, yeah. your boy got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With six, flying colors. Five, six, five. We good. You could have done a four. Yeah. All right. So. um Right, so, so I, I, I like I hook the the, the key uh -huh. right on my little hand and I kind of like yep. pull it back in uh -huh. and I shrink back down to my normal size. Okay, and then I'm like, okay, he can turn around. So all you see is just me holding the keys. Great, Google That's Moogly. awesome. But the 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 keyhole's on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. If turn around. <laughs> <laughs> what again? <laughs> turn around. Just, just do as he says. It's very really biased. <laughs> All right, so I do it again. How often do you yeah, have you're, to turn you're around used to with, this. <laughs> with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, would you... Do I get to watch, or do you make me turn No, around? I make you turn around all the time. Uh, you snuck this, looks listen, all the time. Listen, you know? it's, it's fine. He does this, and then magic things happen, it's and just, so it's fine. fine. Just not like an audience. So then I read you Okay. I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm a kind-hearted person, so I don't look. While you guys are talking, Snargle has opened the door and yeah. is making his way out. Yeah, yeah, so I open the door, and <laughs> immediately I go over and I check on... Uh, oh, okay. The, the guy who's okay. Dead, whatever it is. Um, Ash, what is your so, um, secret name? Natasha. Natasha. I um. I so also like, go down to the body Natasha. and I'm looking. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you guys looking for? Well, I'm looking to see how he's doing. Okay. Like, I'm is not. he breathing? Is he okay? Like, what's going on? He's breathing. It seems pretty labored. Okay. Um. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Uh, I uh, I remove I remove his uniform. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you gonna disguise yourself. I'm gonna disguise myself. Uh, well, you, you can you can do that. I would say um, you know this guard, or at least take the coat. I'm that's... gonna I'm gonna assist you in your disguise. You're gonna assist me. Yeah, because I'm very I'm very are you gonna, good are at you, that. Are you Are you gonna help dress me? I'm gonna make sure that you've got the appropriate look. I to mean, yourself. that's very kind. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, otherwise the it might be ill fitting. You know, like yeah, you're yeah. not exactly the same size mm -hmm. as this guard. Yeah, you gotta you gotta flatten down these shoulders a little yeah, bit yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much yeah. broader frame on that guy. While yeah, they're doing that and they've undressed it, I've grabbed the guard and dragged him into the cell. Okay, and just close the door. Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> So before you like take him away, yeah. I like check him and I like make sure, like I check his wounds, Aww. clean his wounds. I thought you already sure did that while they okay. were undressing. Him. Yeah, I was I was looking at. It. I was gonna say you know while they're undressing him, I wanted to say like oh I rip a cloth and maybe like okay. you know, clean up his face and things like that. Where do you rip this cloth from? Um, off of my own like rags. Oh, okay, my my outfit is just kind of like loose fitting rags. Oh, because that's sad. Are you I like Dobie? Oh, okay, <laughs> I was gonna say I, I thought this was like a, a, a Dobby situation where <laughs> no no it's it's more like an Incredible Hulk situation. Needs to present clothes. Yeah. It's, it's like an yeah. Incredible Hulk situation where like I've learned that like <laughs> gotta have clothes that can grow. Okay, um, I, th I thought Vance was just <laughs> really mean to you. It's like you don't get clothes. I'll give you clothes. Did he have a weapon on him? A sword or a gun or anything like that? Um, yeah. Let's say the, he had a uh, a pistol on him. A Standard pistol. Issue. Yeah. All right. I'll take the pistol. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, I also while I'm undressing, uh, Abel, I like check in the pockets and see if there's like anything that might be in there maybe a key or like a letter or i mean no i mean you you already found the key um well a key he, there is a set of keys um I take it. so okay you've got the set of keys got the set of keys and you guys are now in a hallway i sort of described a little bit from what you could see from the window but you do see it's probably about 30 feet long you guys were towards the back of the hall at the other end, um, there is a door which um, isn't a prison door. It goes to some other part of the ship. You're not sure where. Mm -hmm. But there's no window or anything on that door. Okay. So your options are prison cells or door at the end of the hallway. Okay, well, I'm assuming that, like, you know, all the people who put us in the cell are that way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we want to go check the other cells? Is there any? Do we think anybody else is Why here? Why would we need to check the cells? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's other people who got accidentally stolen away. And, and well, that's know. not our problem. Well, you think they didn't have the proper flag either? They forgot theirs. Maybe, I mean, they, maybe maybe they got an extra flag we can borrow. I don't see how that's our, our problem. We need to get it to our ship and leave. That's a very also well, good well, point. I mean, uh, I, oh, I you guys hear some rustling from behind oh. the door at the end of the hallway. 
Wait, the door towards the cells or the door towards the not cells? So th- there, there are only cell doors on the walls opposite you guys. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the long hallway, there is one door, which presumably goes to the rest of the ship. But that's where the noise is And behind from. that door, you hear some guards talking like, yeah, it was your weekend. Yeah, it was pretty good. You know, did you catch that, uh, that blur spall game? Oh, yeah, it was the worst blur spall game I've ever seen. I want to sneak up toward... I, I am like, Miss Siri, you stay here with these person. I'm going to go sneak up the door and see... Just, just to see if there's any other guards. You be careful. I should I should go with you. That's actually a good idea I'll since you're now dressed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna sneak up towards the door and let's okay. listen I'll to the conversation. With you. I'm a okay. Lover, not a yeah. fighter. So you, you should probably get behind me. It's like I'm es- escorting you. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. You just hear behind the door. You hear them talking about you know. Sort of, you know, their their plans for the weekend and then um, their plans for the day. You hear them sort of talking about the shift change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got to I got to take over for Abel in the uh, in the in the brig, you know. Uh, yeah, it should be pretty easy. There's just four numbskulls that are being mm-hmm. taken for piracy, you know. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you later. All right. See you later. All right. Before we, should, we go in. Yeah, we should wait till he comes back in here. You do your kung fu moves and then we'll go. Well, well what about the other in. guy? He might hear. Which other well, we gotta use. We gotta be quiet. Yeah, we'll we'll put a hand over his mouth. All right. If they ask, say that I'm about to speak, and you're taking them. Does up. Abel? Did Abel have a hat? Oh, well, I mean, imagine like. Um, you're not gonna look like Abel. An imperial I, that's why guard. I want yeah, like an imperial yeah, hat. They, they, to be like, they, they definitely well, had a hat, but you don't wear hats indoors in the military. So. Well, I don't know. This is yeah. a fantasy military. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they ask what's happening, say I'm willing to talk, and then we'll jump him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So what is your plan? You guys are... Me, me and Snargle are sort of hanging back okay. while these two are apparently trying to do a prison transfer. And I, and I was saying, like, there's no way to... There's nowhere we can hide, right? We're just in the hallway? Right, so when you say hanging back, are you hanging back in the hallway or are you hanging back... Are you going back into the jail cell? I think we should be in the jail cell, For like out of sight. Kind doors of propped open a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, but it smells so bad. Well, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't! <laughs> Everyone always blames the goblin. I can right. tell you that that's the one that farts. Okay, so let me get this straight. You guys are going to hang back in the jail cell. You are going to pretend like a uh, sort of like a um, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca situation yeah, where you're yeah, transporting yeah. the prisoner. Yeah, we we step back a little bit, though, because we want to be in the hallway so that if there's any sound or anything, it's not going to go to the also, rest of the ship. ship. Side by side, so like, not side by side, but like almost so that we block the view of well, anything that's back there. You guys yeah. are in the hallway, so presumably this guard is going to be opening up the door in entering the same hallway as yeah, you. Right, and we're starting, like, once we heard that, we ran back to sort of uh, the jail cell, let these two know what was happening, and uh-huh. then we formulated our plan of you mm-hmm. two hide in the jail cell, and then we're going to walk up the hallway to greet them. Hopefully they don't know that I'm not able from that far away. Okay. Oh, oh, you should say that there was some kind of, like, immediate request for this prisoner. Like, or, or, immediate or, request. Like, or, like, this prisoner has got to go... In solitary or, so, or something. No, I just said I was going to speak to, like, I was going to talk. Yeah. Oh. Like, I'm going to give Did up you guys. That? I'm not going to. Oh, okay. This sounds no, like we a need terrible to get plan. Siri out of here. Good luck. But will they, will but they th- take th- that? Th- like, th- thank you. Because it didn't seem really open to us. Talk. Okay, the door opens. Oh, all right. And all right. in we comes the, the new guard, the new shift. Uh, I do the formal ex, or the, infor- the formal imperial salute handshake you know thing. What, what does that look like? Um... <laughs> wow! Wow! That, that is and exactly. It's like, so the Earth moved and separated from it's itself. It's almost like the <laughs> the space balls. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's the that's the. <laughs> Yo, screw. <laughs> okay, um, so that's the Imperial uh, hand signal. Because wow, was, I've never seen somebody do such a great. Abel, are you sick? Something's off about you. Yeah, I got a cough. This is well not good. Uh, anyway, um, the prisoner wants to talk to, to the, to, to Captain Hollis. Give, tell us the whole story. What? Wait, why? What, turning, what? turning treacherous on their teammates. Oh. Yeah, you know, they're gonna you know. Th- they're going to throw him onto the spaceship, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I figured I would bring him okay, up um, to, to Hollis. Wait a minute, but there's something. 
Something's not right about it. I've always loved you. I'm sorry. I Something's to... off here. So in order to sneak through the ship, you're going to need to do a check of f four. Okay. 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 Ooh. Okay. A check. Uh, you mean sneak past this guard or? Yes. Okay. So I've got deception. I've got camouflage. And just real quick question. Once you're past the guards, I just want to see if we can resolve this in this role. How are you guys going to get past the guard? I was going to knock this guy yeah. out. Once I was assuming. Yeah, yeah. Knock him out. I was assuming I her was play was knock him her, out. The, the guard to come closer, once, and then I was going to yeah. headlock him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So who's rolling then? You well, or Anna? I don't know. I was waiting for the guard to get closer. So we're yeah we're like well, walking. Presumably and you're right talking. next to the right next to well, no. Cyrus. Right. Well, now. I'm apparently behind her. Here, well, here's Cyrus. what I would suggest is whichever one of you. I mean, this is gaming it a little mm -hmm. bit, but I think it's like if Anna has a whole bunch of deception stuff, or if you have a whole bunch of physical stuff, mm -hmm. right? You could say Anna rolls for the deception and you aid, but then the resolution is you. I, I will I will grant you knocking him out if she can get him. To pass by you. But then, okay. maybe, but then maybe if she fails, then you Because then you will yeah. have a <clears throat> attack of opportunity. Yeah. Like, if it fails, I'm just going to straight up punch him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Yeah. I, I will say, if this fails, then I'm going to ratchet up the difficulty yep. for okay. the punch, because he will definitely be aware. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am using deception, mm -hmm. camouflage... I'm also going to use connections because as an ex-imperial soldier, I know the, the handshake. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and just sort of like, also, I'm going to use rank because as an ex-imperial soldier, I've got that in. Okay, so that's four plus your base die. That's five right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's five. And what is, what is the check? Four. Four. Can I okay. aid you yes. with misdirection? Yeah. Oh. What are you doing to misdirect? Are you flirting? I, I sneak out. I, I pop my head out of the door and say, Oh, guard, the door has come undone, as has my bodice for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's, he's definitely, his attention is being pulled in two directions now. He's like, the, able, there's some going on with the able, but also I'm unable <laughs> to resist these advances. <laughs> Um, so I need to get higher than a four. You need to get, you need to roll four fours. One. Oh no. A one. Oh no. A one. All right. That, so that, that fails. So you are, um, you failed. You do get an extra dice to your dice pool, but now you are trapped here. Okay. Oh, give that, Ash his dice back. Oh no. He, no, no you get it back. I, he gets it back. He gets it back. Oh, because we failed. failed. Yeah. Yep. So the guard and is now on to you. She gains yeah. one for failing. Too, yeah, right? yeah. yeah, you get one so for I your need dice extra pool. Die. Yeah. Okay. Well, just... But now you are trapped. That is your condition. Mm -hmm. And um, all right. Now the they're... guard's like, "Wait a minute! You're not able at all. You're that dastard uh, Vance. I, I know you. The name is Cyrus Vance. You don't forget it." Because it'll be the last name you ever know. And so I punch him. Work. You punch After him? After that sentence. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this is this is uh, going to be, like I said, it's going to be a higher check. So right, this so will also be um, a four. Fast, hard, living wild weapon. Fast and hard. Brutal, combat tested. Um, tactics. I'm going to give you my tactics. Sure. Uh, how, do, how, what, how do your tactics come into play here? Um, with that distraction that I use, I also... <laughs> With your, Try. with your very poor disguise. Listen, it was a good disguise. <laughs> um, I like squat down uh, so that Naomi has a better punch, but that's also confusing, and I'm also going to grab Would you also feet. say knocking him out is disarming him? Um, mm. If you pull the weapon. I mean, if you pull... Yeah, okay. I, I'm not going to say in this instance. Okay. Uh, how about I'm defending Cyrus by knocking him out? Yeah, defending's fine. Okay. I'll love that. And then... Um, Going through all those traits. Pit fighter, yeah. Yeah, you got a lot. Jeez. So how many are you rolling? All, all of them. seven. Seven. Okay, so the check is a four. She's rolling seven. And you got one, two. You got it. Three, three four. four. You got Ooh, it exactly. Okay. Just Ooh. made it. All right, so once again, you rely on uh, the the brawn of Naomi Bishop. Mm -hmm. to, so describe how you take out this guard. So after Cyrus is like, and that's the last you hear of it, I grab Cyrus by the shoulder push him back, and using that momentum, I just slug him right in his face. All right. And out like, cold. Across the jaw, yeah. Yep, yep. I just out cold. Yeah. And, um, nice. and then I grab his body, and I start dragging it back to the... <laughs> okay. So that, you know, there's no... 
So and, I, and as you drag that body through, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let Maybe me I also this. put on the clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so should now put we're on two guards. Two okay. guards. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will like, say, I pull open the mouth. I'm like, oh, you cracked a tooth. Nailed yeah. it. Oh, that needs to be replaced. Is oh. large. She's she's uh, formidable. And uh, these guards weren't wearing the biggest of uniforms. So <laughs> your uniform hey, maybe I, fits I, a little I, snugly. I lit it out just a little bit. Okay. So it's like All almost right. like a fashionable tears in yeah. some places. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I can fit. I appreciate that. <laughs> Lady Siri. We really need to get uh, find the ship, so I believe we so should go. I'm not a be- lady because right. it was or be- Miss Siri because it was shift change. You guys know that you probably have some time now. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I, okay. I think we should all leave together and we should start finding the ship. So re- I agree. Real quick, I just want to say, so my key is my key of conscience, one of my keys. Uh-huh. You don't like to see anyone suffer, even enemies. Hit your key when you help someone who's in trouble or when you change someone's life for the better. Nice. That's why I'm helping these. Uh, guys, because it's like part of my Well, then you, you hit your key, and so the thing about hitting keys is this is how you level up in the game, uh-huh. and you will gain one experience for every time you use your key. Uh-huh. Now, you can use that experience now, or you can bank the experience. Mm-hmm. When you get five experience points, you can basically cash that in to get yourself a new trait. Gotcha. Uh, or a new oh, key, rather. I'm okay. sorry. No. It, 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 yeah, yeah, a new trait. Yeah, yeah. It's, a new, e- it's either, I either think. Either or. You yeah. can get something new, new key, key or a new trait. You get a new secret. You can get a new trait. Like it's, or you traits can, you can unlock. Yes, <laughs> or you can use experience to add dice to your dice pool. So it's up to you whether or not you want to spend any of that now or okay. if you want to bank it. I'm just going to bank it. Okay. So then does that mean I get one for each of the dudes I helped or just one just for the scenario? Uh, I'm going to say one for the scenario. Okay. Because, yeah, our basic rule of thing is that you can't use keys in a row. You can't use... Yeah, you It's, it's the The rules aren't... 100% clear about this, but we're going to go ahead and make a house rule that every sort of um, uh, module that we play, yeah. we're going to be able, we're, you can use each of your keys one time. Okay. And is that, is that balanced? What's that? Is that how the game like, well, the, the, the thing is the, the rules somewhere say saying? you're, you can only, you cannot use keys more than once basically. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember mm-hmm. if it was like, and there's another option you can do. If you oh. want to go counter right to your Buy keys, off, yeah. You can buy it off. You can say, like, for example, Snargle, if you wanted to be malicious and just be like, nah, screw it, kill all the soldiers, I hate soldiers, and go against what your key is, then you can get double the experience, mm-hmm. but the trade-off is you can never use that key again. Right, and then, so then XP, you, you need five, oh, right, let's see, you get two XP or two, blah, 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 and you've accumulated five, you're in advance. Got it, okay, yep. got it, okay, cool. All right. So when you lose, how much XP do you get when you lose a roll? So you don't get XP when you lose a roll. Okay, then that's fine. Mm-hmm. You you do, however, gain a dice for your dice pool. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, uh, like I said, shift change has just happened. You know that that's probably bought you some time mm-hmm. if you wanted to sneak the ship and try to locate whatever. I mean, the owl or whatever you desire. All I mean, right. you probably want to escape, but if you wanted to do anything else, I'd allow it. All right, let's, uh, now that we've got two uniforms, we can both pose as the guards. Um, we should get back to the owl and get out of here because at least the less time that we have to be here with the Empire, the better for all of us, I would think. Um, I mean, that is a good idea, but what happens if they give chase? Maybe we should try to cripple the ship before we leave. That's a good, that's a good idea. How would, I mean, yeah, we could. Do you know anything about where the engine room is? We can find it. Can we? We could probably figure it out. I mean, we got, once we get you guys on the ship, I doubt they're going to search for you guys in there, especially since we had a guard change. What we could do is we could get you on the ship and then me and Cyrus can look around looking for the engine room. I don't need to be coddled. I'm down to go and look through this ship, all right? I demand an adventure. In (laughs) fact, let's all go right now. Look for this ship. You do realize you're making my job much harder. What job is that? Protecting you. No, your job is to let me have fun. Now I say, let's go. Off to the engine room. I'm like, I had like a snack in my pocket. I'm like eating. <laughs> I'm like, this is really interesting. I'm just tugging on your thing. I'll like, hand you like a, a snack. Thank you. Yeah, this is good. Some good what stuff. What did you get us into now? Um, Listen, the price is totally worth it. We're going to go to Chili's afterwards and oh! it's going to be great. You can have whatever wings you want. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a skillet. Um, They're frozen. They're all frozen. <laughs> it's a frozen skillet. Listen, this is delectable. It's fr- it's nitrogen. You put it on there and it cools. Real That's fast. why it's called chilies. Yeah, yeah. meatsicles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, regardless, I think we should still go with this plan of us uh, leading you you two around so that if there is any 
any uh, any guards that we encounter, we can just do mm-hmm. the same thing before. Hopefully, it'll work. All right. Because that ob- that person obviously knew Abel, so that was a bit of a drawback knowing somebody. But there's so many soldiers aboard this ship that they don't know all of them. Sure. So we can we can fake it pretty uh, well. Before we leave, I do lock the two guards in the in the brig that we're okay. just in, so okay. that they can't leave. Okay. Yeah. Do you swallow the key? No, I just take it with us. Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, it would be a cool thing. So do you know are, how hard it is to swallow a key? Are you guys it's going a lot with of metal? <laughs> Cyrus Vance's uh, idea of just trying to find the owl. We should find the owl first. Mm-hmm. If we happen to come across the engine room, yeah. I am down to go in. Yeah. So, okay. Curious, just in terms of my own character's knowledge, uh-huh. um, being that I have knowledge of the Empire and of ship maintenance and all Ooh. of my other stuff having to do with ships, would I maybe have an idea of where the engine would be? Right? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, this is um, the, um, what is it? The <laughs> Hand of Doom? Is that what it's called? The, the Hand of Sorrow, excuse me. Okay. So this Hand of Sorrow, which is um, a class of ship, that's just the name gotcha. of this class of ship. Mm. You, you would know yeah, the yeah. makeup of these types of ships. So yeah, yeah. The uh, so This is a Sorrow class. Yeah. Engine room, it's going to be, you know, floor B, section C, area nine. That's if where you, it always. If you have that information, you probably also know where the, our ship could be held captive. That's very oh, true. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. Also, I, there's only ex- one place they could put it. <laughs> yeah. As where an ex-imperial that? soldier. Oh, it's in the in, in the uh, the bay where they're able to pull the ships in. There's only one. Do you know we are in relation to that? I think we're up. Okay, so we have to start <laughs> heading down then. Yeah, most most bays are at the very bottom of the ship because that's how they draw the, the ships in and then they park them. We're, uh, we're somewhere kind of in the middle and we got to go down and back. How many floors? Uh, Two. Two? That's not bad. Yeah. Did you, you know Snarvel and I actually met in the Imperial Army? Oh, don't tell him about that. It's embarrassing. It is a little embarrassing, but, you know, we know our way around these ships pretty well. I mean, the newer models have some different rooms and stuff. I'm, I'm, sure think, the, I'm sure the bones are the same. Yeah. I mean, I think this one has a spa in it, which we might want to, if we've got time. <gasps> is this the deluxe sorrow model? It, it we don't be. have time for this, y'all. We need to destroy an engine. I'm just Plus, saying. I'm bored. Let's go. <laughs> are you telling me you can't squeeze a spa day into an adventure? Because I disagree. You know, we re- you, we did just knock out two guards. I'm sure they're going to kill us. Speaking of guards, us. you hear footsteps coming down the hall. <laughs> oh, let's go, guys. All right, let's let's book it. So I I like point the direction as we're going. Actually, (laughs) I request of Lady Siri, do you want to just carry me around and then I'll point the direction to go? Can I carry you? (laughs) Yeah, right now I'm a small goblin. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm like Baby Yoda size. All right, that's like normally I'm Baby Yoda. And then every now and then when nobody's looking, I grow grotesquely. And that's it. Oh, God. I'm just thinking of long leg baby Yoda. Yeah, yeah. Think of long Yoda. Oh, Jesus. That sounds so gross. uh, That's why I make you look away. (laughs) I don't want you to think of me like this. In my in my inside jacket pocket, (laughs) I like pull out a piece of cloth. And I'm like, I was going to say, I I have a cape right now. Well, but I have a I have a baby Bjorn. (laughs) I was going to use my cape to make a little papoose. (laughs) I mean, if you don't want to use the baby Bjorn, and that's fine. Which would you prefer, Snargle? Well, the Bjorn's probably better, you know. It's made terms, a custom it's, you know. for you. Of course, you, I, I can fit what I need. Do you wear it like um, the baby facing you, or is it baby out? I need baby facing out. I need baby facing out. <laughs> it's gonna be real weird if it's the other way. <laughs> you used to be staring uh, Natasha in the face the entire time. I take a look at the Bjorn and I refuse to wear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, we're like playing reverse characters. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so you you do you agree to go along with this? Uh, don't tie me up too much. I just feel like we'll go faster like this. I huck you into my little cape. <laughs> uh, this is little... Be, be gentle with Snarl. He really is demeaning. our pilot. All right, so then I'm just like pointing like, okay. which ways to go okay. and whatnot as All we're right. going around. Yep. Kind of okay. like E.T. in the basket yep. of uh, Elliot's bike. Yep. You're just... Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So you... Um, you you know where the engine room is. You guys are there, but of course the engine room isn't going to be unmanned. Yeah. No. There's yep. going to be a couple mechanics in there making mm-hmm. sure doing their checks and stuff. So um, if you guys do want to try to sabotage this engine room, you got to take that into account. Mm-hmm. I do. Um, do it. So. Okay. Sorry, would you know how to sabotage? I would it? definitely. I would know how to sabotage <laughs> in terms of just because I would understand maintenance mm-hmm. of it, so I would understand the opposite of maintenance. And I'm going to say right? there are two mechanics in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so were there any guards along the is, way? Are the mechanics in a specific uniform or would snorkel blend in? 
No, I mean Snargle is wearing rags. He's okay. definitely not going to. <laughs> um, like they're gonna they're gonna know for sure. I mean it, this this is a military operation, yeah. so everybody. It might be a different type of uniform, but it's definitely a mechanics uniform. Uh, they're they're in there doing their mechanic business. So if you guys wanted to try to engage them, um, how like, many? Yeah, how many? Two, 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 two mechanics. All right. Uh, and there's no guards or anything like that. No, you guys have managed to avoid uh, detection of the guards. Yeah. You know, um, they they do their rounds in the specific areas, the brig and you know the the deck and everything. But as far as just the regular hallways go, there might be some light traffic, but they don't patrol the hallways. Okay, so I got an idea. One of you two who are the guards. That was that's my idea. I'll tell you what to say. Okay. And tell them, oh, there's an emergency. We gotta evacuate this area because there's something wrong with the flux capacitor, and we need y'all out of here so that we can get the new one in. And we need y'all over in section eight two three estat because there is a fire that is out of control. We need all maintenance on deck, pronto. But what are we gonna do with her? Well, you don't bring her in right away. Well, uh, obviously, but then when the mechanics come out, they're gonna see her. No, 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 they'll be going that way. And she'll be on the other side, hiding behind the other other guard. Is there multiple exits? I got it all figured out. Well, like, no, when we cut, uh, something in hallway is where we're standing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're looking through the door into the maintenance area. No, they're cutting the other way. I'm telling, I'm knowing knowledge of the ship and its stuff. I'm telling them to go that way. Yeah. Because you guys are going to be hiding around the corner this way. Sure. And then we're getting them to leave. Is there a little, like, alcove in the wall where they can, like, scoot back into? Um, I'm sure. sure. Let's let's say. Yeah. Um, Well, then. the sake of this. Then Miss Sir used to stand behind me, then I can sort of keep you out of sight while they're So alive. is this gonna be get like them a, out of here? I can mess this ship up real good. Is this gonna be like a De Bergerac situation where yeah. you're whispering you, the information to Do you need so, to be transferred to your Bjorn? I I think I might. Alright, I got I got the Bjorn out. So sling it on my back. You got, oh, this is so demeaning. So you <laughs> I but suggest I you put me in the Bjorn and then you throw a cape over me so yeah, no one yeah, can see yeah. me. Yeah. It's just this kind of maybe hunchback. looks like you have a hunchback. Exactly. Yeah. Lady yeah. Sir, can I borrow your fantastic coat? All right. Thank you. It looks so. This is right. very nice. Once, I, once I'm covered, yeah. I shrink a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Couldn't you have just shrink in the first place without putting on the baby Bjorn? I don't want people to see me like this, okay? <laughs> you need to be hidden behind yeah. the cave. Or... I don't like being observed yeah. Yeah. using my goblin. Right, a life of being raised yeah. around humans has mm-hmm. given Snargle yeah. goblin shame. Yeah. All right, let's Snargle. <laughs> let's do it. Best, best friends forever. Yeah. All right, so you're going to try to attempt to... Um, get them out yep. of the engine room. Okay, yep. so you guys enter into the engine room. The, the you know, like I said, they're doing their rounds. It's a little loud in okay. there, yep. you know. So take that into account. Yep. And uh, what happens? Right. We have an emergency. I need all of you mechanics in here to immediately evacuate. Well, then I would like to hear what you are saying, <laughs> and, and then, then I, I want to see if you hear it correctly. Okay, so you got to tell them that. They need to head to floor C3, section D, because there's a fire in the flurbinator. There's a fire in the flurbinator, and I'm Hold gonna... on. Because of the loud engine sounds, I'm going to say you need to roll a two, all right? Just to make sure you're hearing Snargle correctly. Right. Oh, man. I'm going to use uh, my soldier's sense and my rank because I do have experience on these ships as well. So I feel mm-hmm. like even if I didn't hear correctly, I could be able to assess You'd what be he's like talking inferring about. It. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, and then, I mean, because if you're, are you doing, are you just resolving her hearing me or are you resolving th- her talking to them as well? No, just her hearing. Okay. And I, I want to see yep. if... She doesn't mm-hmm. maybe misinterpret. Yeah. I'm also going to use Imperial Warships because we're talking yeah. about Imperial okay. Warships. Okay, and because I would also say mm-hmm. that I, like, this would be something that we've done before. Yeah. We, sure. we've, we've pulled the Cyrano move before. Sure. And so we've come up with a good system that I call the jab, which is mm-hmm. when uh, he says something wrong, like, mm, he's right in the back. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, are you going to So if that, I, I'm going to add a die to that, just, you know, the system. <laughs> Okay. Right. Wait. What? What? Which trait are you using though, in particular? Oh, uh, so that's gonna be um, in bluffing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I also use hide since I'm hiding? Snarl? Are you hiding? No, you're no, not. You're no, not okay, hiding. Hide. This is worth a try. Hiding in plain sight. Okay. One. Was it two? You got. Wait. 
Oh, you did not make what's it. What's the what's your weird dice? That's a the two. two. Oh. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so so um Wait, they, that's, which one this one, the yellow. I got this one back. What happens? So they were like, wait. No, she just misheard because she hasn't yeah. talked to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I misheard. Okay, so then you get jabbed. Oh! And then the guard says, everything all right? Yeah, I just I just got a UTI and a, <laughs> some kidney pain. You know, God. you know how it goes. Yeah. It's really painful. I'm sorry. Anyway, that is Maybe not the Maybe you point. should go to the sick bay because... Uh, yeah, I mean, th- I've had those. They're terrible. They, that, they are very terrible. Listen, you gotta drink your cranberry juice every day. You really day. do, but it's then you amazing. gotta pee, and then you're like, oh, that's the worst. I don't want to pee. It hurts when I pee. I know. <laughs> but that, this is, uh, health aside, there is a fire that needs to be taken care of. I know, it's because the UTI. It's it's well, not, like you're no, peeing not a fire. My, not, not the crotch fire. That's different. That's a, that's a different situation. Not <laughs> I mean, oh, there's, there's a another fire. fire? There's, a, there's a different fire. Wow, okay. The fire that burns in my heart. But that's a third fire that we don't have time to go into. <laughs> what I'm talking about is the fire on the ship. Wait, what? Fire that's on the a, ship? I need to evacuate you to floor 4C um, to be in safe at a... Why didn't the alarms go off? We would have heard the alarms. Well, like, it, it was a fire in the alarms area. It, it took uh, them out. Yeah, perfect, I know. That's a perfect fire story. I know. It's <laughs> awful. That's why I'm shouting around everybody, and I got I got other people to shout at. So if you will, please evacuate and go to 4C, then we can we can get everybody safe and get 4C. the fire out. Charlie, we got a fire. We got to go to 4C? Apparently, the alarms are on fire, so the alarms aren't working. <laughs> yeah. What's, it's, it's what's Charlie awful. say? I, I, I thought that there were safeguards for fires in the alarm room, but, uh, you know, I, I need to check. Wait. I'm just who, a simple who, soldier. Who, I was who, just told. Who, who sent you? What, uh, what's your superior's name? My superior's name is Superior uh, Staven. <laughs> Superior Staven. Oh, yeah. Captain Hollis. Wait, what? I've never the guy that runs the ship. Heard of the Superior. Okay, he's, I, the, he's he's new look at, here too. I I know that time's pressing, but I should really just I should call this in. I just gotta I gotta just check this I, out I, real quick, okay? I, listen, if you call this in, we're all dead. We need you there, Stat. You are a mechanic, and I need you to fix things over in 4C right now. Oh, I don't you have need... time for your I don't have time for your blatant disregard for my actions. You need us to fix it. Why didn't you just say so? But I'm sorry. Things are a little bit difficult with the UTI and the fire <laughs> going on. You know, I just I need you there right now. And as your superior officer, I need you to listen to me, or I will have your neck. And okay. I will tell you. I will talk to Commander Hollis themselves. <laughs> Okay, um, let's do one more roll, okay? <laughs> Just to make sure if uh, your your bluff okay. succeeded, okay? Um, we're going to call this one a four, all right? Things are starting okay. to get harder. Same we're deal. I'm entering the end bluff. here. Um, okay, I'm going to use, once again, I'm going to use command. Okay. I'm going to use tactics. Okay. Uh, I'm using a deception. Okay. Uh, I'm using my camouflage because I got my uniform yep. on. Uh, I'm using my tough because I'm tough. Okay. And I'm using my creepy stare as one of my moves. Creepy stare. <laughs> creepy, I said stare. creepy stare. Okay, okay. So what is this stare like? Wait, hold on. No, that's, it's like, it's that's, like, no, it's that's more like this. Listen, it's you gotta do a full Forrest Whitaker. You one man's get one pensive dead eye. is another man's creepy. This is yeah. a creepy stare. <laughs> I, that it's, that is creepy. Listen, it's in, that it's in, Ash is doing it right there. There it is. Yeah, I don't have a creepy stare. My creepy stare is very <laughs> flirty. <laughs> I mean, like, that I can be. That's yeah. your always yeah. stare. <laughs> flirty can be creepy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're like flirting, but also it's like a fire situation. Yeah, and you just talked about a UTI. <laughs> so like go. it's all the whole scenario. Yeah. Very, oh my god. Uh, what do I have to get? A four. Oh my gosh, I have not been. Oh rolling. no. One, two. What the? Oh what is my Anna. gosh, Anna. Okay. Well, uh, I am sorry, but uh, they, failed, yeah. they 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 say this is unfair. This is say, not Look, fair. Your stare was really creepy, but I'm gonna have to call this one in. All right, just to be sure. What do you I want? I got. I, I'm just gonna call it up. Uh, find it that's, out. That's hey, like, you call it in. Can, well, he's we, calling can it. Can we in. say that we overheard this? Hey, four C. Uh, uh, yeah, I storm sure. in. Yeah. I'm gonna need you no. to put the gun or the put the radio down. What, what, what? <gasps> she took my gun. Oh. She is quite fast. Now, oh, okay. Oh, okay. No time for dickering. <laughs> down on the I'm floor. Dickering. I'm dickering. Excuse me. I'm just an innocent. Okay. I, I'm an okay. innocent. Soldier. Okay. Okay. No. No. No need to. All right. And they lay on the floor. That's a couple of smart lads. Good. <laughs> now. <laughs> so then, 
I'm horrified. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a new sort of crotch fire. Actually, I can't I see what's going on, so I'm more just like, what's, go- what's going on? What's uh, going on? I'm behind Charlie. Miss, sorry. And I'm like, gotta tie these guys up. So, Naomi, be so kind as to bind these two very, very obedient engineers. And Snargle, if you could be so kind as to pop out and make yourself useful. Uh, okay, I, like, I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, I, um, I look around the, the engine room. I'm guessing there's, it's mostly what, steel, cogs? It's uh you know there there's uh there's there wires? there's pipes yeah. that's uh, there's a lot of it's steampunk right yeah so it's everything steam cogs. power there's a lot of there's a lot of steam there's a lot of pipes a lot of is there uh, any like it's belts? hot um, there any... yeah there's definitely belts there's pulleys yeah okay. yeah um I grab I'm gonna Whoa! guess no 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 don't just go around grabbing stuff no this no I'm it. not gonna grab it I'm looking for We're like a crowbar trying to mess it up remember I know <laughs> but the way we gotta mess it up's gotta be a way that will be where the ship is fine until we get off the ship. So please don't just go breaking things. Yeah, if there's Ask a special way well, to then how the would ship. you like me to bind these guys up? I remove my belt. Bingo! Here that's one. Go. Always undressing this one. Listen, listen. You always gotta be prepared. So that's we one. Can I need another belt. one. We can borrow their belts too. They've got two. They've got two belts. Remove I, your belt. <laughs> Ask them to remove their belts. Remove your belts. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. They, uh, got, sh- they got shoelaces too. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, and this is. It's real weird, man. It's real weird. I I take their two small belts. I tie that together, they and then I hog tie. Them. Are, are they them. small belts? They're goblins. They're, right? We're not no, goblins. They're, they're, they're goblins. mechanics. I thought they were goblins. No. Making okay. an assumption based okay. on careers. <laughs> Anyways, I take I am, their belts. I am not a goblin, ma'am, okay? I might be small in stature, but I am definitely cute. Not like there would be anything wrong with being a goblin, That's right? Very true. Cram it, goblin. I hey. punch him. Hold I on, hold him. on. Everyone else, look away. You look at me. Turn, turn around. And then, Wait, as everyone turns around, I grow huge Ugh. and big old claws and gnarly teeth. And I'm like... What was that? It looks like this. Now that's a creepy stare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And then I shrink back down, baby Yoda style. All right, let's get to business. Uh, so, uh, this thing over here, if we could set up a wrench uh, at this angle, and I'm going to need you to give it a nice big smack, and then we got about 15 minutes, and then boom, baby, we're out of here. Okay. And while he's doing that, I mm-hmm. hogtie both of the guards. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mm-hmm. also slap the one that made fun of Nargle. Snargle. Snargle. Thank you. It's fine. And again, I I apologize for us having to do this to you. It really sucks. But, uh, you know, that's how things go. Um, Okay. Don't Don't apologize to this jerk. No, we should. He hates goblins. Uh, You know, I'm afraid Uh, they're going to scream. So I remove their boots, take their socks, and shove it in their mouths. (laughs) Oh, that's a stinky sock if I smelled them They won't talk now, though. Oh, man. That's real smart. I feel like I should be this smart, but I'm not. I... I appreciate your willingness to go along with the situation, but I'm very sorry for the position that we've put you in. Okay, so uh, (laughs) they're now tied up. You are sabotaging the uh, engine. Um, You said about 15 minutes before the whole thing. So so Before stuff starts to break down. So the ship essentially will Mm -hmm. cease Mm -hmm. to be able to fly, uh, and a number of the systems um, will shut down. People will live. It's not going to blow up the ship, Mm -hmm. but... This thing's stuck like, for a while. Are you like, like put it on the brakes, essentially? I, no, or it's like more like I'm, I'm breaking the engine, Ooh, right? And yeah. like all the other systems are run off of different stuff. This is just like the... the, the so it may be able to intact. float, yeah. but there will be no... Yeah, it'll, it'll take a long up. time to fix okay. the, the quick little okay. dr- damage. So let's say, um, yeah, uh, Snargle, um, let's... I mean, you, you guys succeed, okay? Um, mm-hmm. you, you are now 15 minutes. You have to get to the ship, okay? Mm-hmm. okay? okay. Uh, so what do you guys do? We start running. Fuck it! Okay. Plus, le- should we take their uniforms as well? No, we don't need I'm just, to. I'm just saying, in case we need some more uniforms. I mean, it is somewhat fashionable. That's I'd not look, right. I look good right? as an engineer. I've, I've, we well, should you leave. leave. All right, let's do we it real quick. We have no time Jeez. for this. We should leave. You're right. Let's go, please. I mean, uh, let's go. Just pretend I like s- you're taking us for prisoners. Lady, sir, I just want to say you would look good in anything. Oh, well, thank you. Or with, with I Save it for the owl. Oh. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll save it for the owl. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so you guys uh, run through the halls. Um, surprisingly, uh, little resistance. Uh, maybe they're all at uh, 4C for you know, avoiding the fire FYI. or something. Um, g- in those heels? In- <laughs> See, my thing is, I'm supposed to be in disguise. Apparently, I'm dressed very nicely here, but... Well, you're, I, 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 
I think you're still dressed like a commoner, right? Like, like a person. Like you're not dressed like, like a citizen. royalty, but you're not, you're not a be, pirate, and you're not an empire person. You're just you're a like person. one of the Portland hipsters who like it looks like you're shabby, but you know that they spent a lot on it. Okay, mm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. yeah. So a well-to-do commoner. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Could, like a Portland hipster. So you're like, <laughs> could you please pass some more kombucha? Like that's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this locally sourced? <laughs> okay. Then never mind. Take it back. Then uh, yes, in these heels, I'm running very well. Okay, so you guys, um, you get to the area right before the um, the big, you the know, bay. like bay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, now the guards here, they've ratcheted it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Because they're guarding the ship, they want to make sure that no funny business happens. And also, this just would be where there would be uh, a higher guard presence. Mm. Anyway, you know, this is the in and out of the ship okay. you know so how many guards would you say there are uh there are four guards okay okay um they are near the entrance of the cargo bay the cargo bay the entrance is larger you know because they need to transport larger items in and out of there but you can see the doors are open and you can clearly see the ship in the hangar right there mm-hmm. and it's just four guards between you and the ship are they all like clustered together or are they like spread out mm-hmm. in different areas like where like how there's are the guards oriented two Next mm-hmm. to the door on either side. Mm-hmm. And then you see two sort of patrolling the inside of the hangar bay. Mm. Okay. And I would say the hangar bay, the two patrolling are probably within 15, 20 feet of the two by the door. Is the door okay. like a straight? Can we actually see straight to them? Yes. Okay. Yes. So. It's, the, the door opens up to just a large empty cargo bay where you can see plunked right in the middle of it. There's mm-hmm. the owl. What's um what's weaponry like? Are there guns? Are there like what's the There there's basic guns, kind okay. of like flintlock okay. sort of weapons. Mm-hmm. Just want to know if like if I book it, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, no there's no like automatic weapons. Right. I mean there there may be larger automatic weapons on the ships that are maybe crank yeah, powered yeah, 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 and stuff yeah, yeah. like but that. But like the people aren't gonna be carrying machine guns. They might have like a flintlock. Yes. Like you're saying. Okay. Right. Um All right guys, I, what do you think? I I think I've got a plan. What's up, boss? Well, yes, because your your previous plans have worked so well. <laughs> we got about <laughs> eleven minutes. All right, so here's my plan. I'm going to teleport into the ship, turn on the owl in the midst of the distraction, because they'll be like, "What? What in tarnation is this?" We can take out the guards. You use your good punching hands to punch them, and 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 then we go. I think you should give me your gun. Uh, Miss Siri has mine. Yeah, you can have my gun. We, we could take out the patrols first, and then we'll rush the other two. Well, you can't take out the patrols first, because the patrols are beyond the two. Right, but what yeah, I'm yeah. saying, if I teleport into the ship and start, Cause their attention yeah. is going to be on the ship. But they're going to run on the ship. They're not going to run on the ship, because the ship is closed and locked, and I'll, I'll put that safety lock on as soon as I get in there. Is the ship locked? Is it like a landing pad kind of thing, or...? Well, I mean, it's you, you don't know. Yeah, 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 the ship, I mean... It's the impl- it's it's the, the implication yeah. like it's the guess I guess yeah yeah, yeah. It's, to refresh myself you said there's two by a door and two that are just patrolling there's two on either side of the door the it's a big you know yeah. cargo door so we're talking like ten feet wide you know and there's one on either end of the door mm-hmm. and then and then two more patrolling that are like yeah farther sort of away. around the ship you know like, around the ship yeah okay. Um... I think that's our best bet, though. We only got, like, seven minutes left. And these guards, now it's you, worth mentioning, they, they're they they're like Imperial Stormtroopers, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? They're, like they're, 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 yeah. they're like the, so I'm the worried. Navy SEALs. But Is I'm there worried. another ship in the bay? No, it's just yours. Just ours. Yeah. So my only worry is that there may be an alarm here once the ship turns on. We might have more guns in our hands. Can you teleport me with you? I can teleport myself or someone I'm touching. So yes. So if you <clears throat> if you teleport me into the ship, I can turn those guns on, baby. I mean, I can also turn on the guns if you want me to. Yeah, but I got I got some ideas. Oh, all right. And then I reach over and I touch you, Snargle. So I would say, like, you know that when I have, <laughs> I'm a nice boy in the real world, but when I'm behind the, the ship, mm-hmm. I suddenly am just like. A monster. Yeah. Like I, but and like I, I just have this like this rage and this fuel. <laughs> um, <clears throat> kind of like a uh, like road rage, sort of like your yeah, mild manner. But once you bit. get behind the wheel, exactly, things, are just different. things just change. Yeah. Um, Does so, that affect your key? Like your whole like? Nope. Key of the daredevil. I thrive on dangerous situations. Not necessarily okay. hurting people, but I'm definitely doing things that are dangerous. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, but also in private. So, so. All right, I lean over and I go, I love you, little buddy. And then poof. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm, I'm in the ship. Uh huh. Yeah. So I run straight into the pilot seat. Uh, do what you, you I do it's what she secret. tried to say. It's one of my secrets. And so, oh. so first, I want to I, I I quickly ch- look at all the information, uh, the the screens and everything to figure out like can I actually do any of this stuff or have they put some kind of lockdown or something no. on the ship? No. Okay. So um, then yeah, I uh, I fire up the ship and the guns and I don't start firing them, but I do kind of like orient the ship right like okay. i tur- like i make a move so that oh. they know okay so yeah. immediately the guards nearest the ship yeah. go we've got trouble and the two at the door sort of look inside and go yeah. what the heck and so they two from the door rush inside the cargo hangar and now they're sort of surrounding the uh the ship mm-hmm. one of them has run to a wall mm-hmm. phone <clears throat> and Colin, you know, yeah. like, we need backup. So start, we need yeah. backup. So I then engage the weaponry. Oh, okay. And I just start firing at like random, like at stuff around. I'm not trying to hit anybody, okay. but I'm like firing near them. Okay. But I'm also doing it in a way that gives you guys a clear path to run to the yeah. ship. Essentially, what I'm trying to do yeah. is separate the guards from them. And it's working. The guards have parted. Mm-hmm. They're sort of finding containers and stuff mm-hmm. to sort of hide behind. Yeah. They are, however, they know that their guns would be useless against the ship. However, right. they have them drawn and they're looking right. out for you guys right. trying to get to the ship. Mm-hmm. And so okay. that's me. I am just manning those guns, essentially keeping mm-hmm. them under, you know, behind their cover or whatever like okay. that. Let's go. Yeah. Then I'm going to say. Move out. Um, and I'd say I, I also turn on the floodlights and it creates sort of like a blinding mm-hmm. thing. Okay. Against them. Let's say I want to. Uh, We'll say you guys need to do a check to make sure that you don't get shot. And because you're blinding them, I'll give so this just still, a... So they're going to be shooting in our direction even even with that stuff going on? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say, let's just do a three. Okay, let's do a check to make sure you get to the ship. Okay. So and you don't get shot. to do it? Like each person's going to do it? Not you, but the three of you. Okay. okay. Anybody who's running to the ship. Yeah. What do you mean, okay. three of them? So a ch- the, the challenge I, is three. I assume that those two left. Okay. No. No, no, I didn't teleport. I teleported him. I thought you teleport somebody with you. No, no. or somebody or, else. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm protecting uh, Lady Blackbird. Okay. So, so how, how does that look? Um. So I'm going to use defend. Okay. Um, awareness, fast, aware, because I'm keen. Uh, let's see, bodyguard. I can use that too. And I could also use a key because I'm defending Lady Blackguard, but I could do that later. Um, I could carry you. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. very athletic. You're already I bodyguarding not, it. I do yeah. not need your help with that. Uh, oh, run! I can also use run. Okay. Okay. So I got those. Okay. Um, so you just gotta roll at least three fours okay. or above. One, yeah, you two, got it. Three, nice. four. All right, Sweet. so you safely make it to the ship. Well, I'm I'm basically defending. What what I'm gonna allow is you roll, and then I'm gonna allow you to use your defend mm-hmm. for Ash. Yeah, so sure. that'll give you the extra dice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see what I could if I'm just purely running. I do. I'm athletic, uh, and I have run, and then I have my free dice. I'm also gonna give you defend. You want to give me one? Yeah. Okay. Um, and beyond that, we'll see what happens. So and you've you've got your you've got your uh, dice pool as well. I do. There's seven oh. dice from your pool. Yeah. Okay. I'll draw. I need what three? Yeah, three. See. I'll draw two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ah. oh. No. Nope. Off by one. All right. So. So it doesn't necessarily mean you fail, though, right? It just means that you yeah. you uh, take some kind of condition. Well, you 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 are injured. You you, well, you took a hit. I have a secret can, of the bodyguard. Once per session, you can reroll a failure when protecting somebody. So since I'm protecting Ash, can okay, we, can we reroll that. Go ahead and reroll it, Ash. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, that's a uh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> yep, so you I'm, did it. Just did it. Okay, so. Um, 
So is that like an errant shot, like almost hit you, but then like you no! kind of like, yeah, you push, <laughs> push her out of the yeah, way. Yeah. yeah. Can All I, right. So before, before you go, can I, uh, like we've made it, uh -huh. but I notice the errant shot that becomes very close to me mm -hmm. and I'm like, Snargle's a terrible shot at this. And I'm going to cast wind towards the people that are oh, uh, shooting wind? at us. Excuse me? So I, I look out in that direction of the shot that just happened, and I'm like, no. And then I just, like, blast wind. Okay. I can channel. But still my beta <laughs> Blast wind. I so, use better words. So what does this look like when you <laughs> cast wind? So I'm... <laughs> I... Uh, I, I, I'm able uh, to to channel different types of magics. Right, but is it like, um, is there so, anything that you can actually see when this happens? So Do for, you say something? Uh, so I don't have to say necessarily a particular word or anything like that, but from me, I imagine you see in my eyes a little bit more of a deepening and darkening happening okay. there. And then around me, it's not that you see anything like glowing or sparks or anything, but you can see whatever I happen to be channel uh, channeling, basically swirling around me before being cast out. Okay. So it's wind is whipping all around me before just going directly cool. towards that. All right. And I'd assume that there's, because of all the shots that are being fired, that there's dust and stuff. Yeah. So it's yeah. really pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So then um, they, you've obscured those two. Okay. Okay. And yeah. you know what? I'll say, that makes your job easier. Let's say it's a two, okay? Oh my gosh, that's great because I have been failing every <laughs> single roll. Um, okay, I'm going to use tough run. Okay. Uh, endure. I'm going to use battle harden because I've been in battle. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to use shooting because I've been around shooting. Uh, and then also because I know the Imperial warships and I know what's around, I'm going to use that one as well. Okay, roll them. I hope it's not all ones. Listen, we'll find out. A There's three. a lot of ones there. There's, There's a surprising two. number. Two, oh my God, just wow. Got two. <laughs> she rolled six dice and she got exactly two. You got, Listen, I, I got this. You got lucky that he yeah. cast that wind. I know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So then <laughs> you guys, you are the wind beneath my wings. You guys are all on board now. Yep. And uh, do you guys give the signal to Snargle? No, I, I I demand of it. Like we have wasted enough time here. We need to be on our way. Strap like, yourselves in, yeah. kids! I like yell into the the horn because we've yeah. got a horn system. Like uh, you know, you speak into it. Like at the playground, there's mm -hmm. those little things. Oh, yeah. I'm like, we are all aboard the ship. Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I told oh, you to you call, call me that just because yeah. I chew loud like whatever so I then immediately I kick into like daredevil mode like this okay. is, this is like my serenity okay like everybody <laughs> like I seem anxious and terrified and everything all the time and then when I'm connected to this ship it's, it's like, your serenity to like wash his exactly. ship serenity exactly it's <laughs> yeah. like I am now cool calm and collected I pull those goggles down ah there's goggles <clears throat> click it in and like I'm saying we're 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 dropping out, uh -huh. blasting away, and I'm doing like a spin move because nice. I know that there's some auto cannons that might try and fire. But hopefully my uh, uh, sabotage is about to kick in and cause a little bit of trouble. Speaking there. of, yes, on like the 24 esque countdown mm -hmm. clock, yep. what's the time at now? Uh, well, so what, you said it was like seven minutes before yeah, we did that. Before we did that, I mean, I'm guessing yeah, we're about. It's like at that zero, like the clock is like right when it happens, it's like zero right as we escape. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we've got like, we're in the minute countdown yeah. kind of deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, obviously they, they, they went up the horn. So I know, be aware of the mm -hmm. guns. So, uh, I'm, we're, we're, we're trying to escape Fair downward roll. and mm -hmm. backwards doing a barrel roll kind of thing. Cause I know okay. that the guns on the ship wouldn't be necessarily the big ones wouldn't be able to hit us. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to drop out, do a spin move, and essentially try and navigate us through um, if there's any debris or yeah. anything like that around that would cause sort of a screen uh, for us, right? Make it trickier to track us and trickier to see us. That's where I'm going. Okay. Because I'm confident. Well, because the countdown clock mm -hmm. reached zero as this was happening, mm -hmm. uh, Captain Hollis on the deck realizes what's happening, says, follow them! Mm -hmm. And just as he does... Wah, wah, wah. The alarms go off, and uh, the engineers are saying, uh, mm, "Captain, uh, we're, we're getting no thrust. The ship cannot move." <laughs> Later, suckers. 
And you guys jet off, and Captain Hollis slams his fist on the table. Ah! Once again, Cyrus Vance eludes me. I'll get you next time, Vance. Yeah, next you know. time. <laughs> I, I didn't know he even knew about me. That's great. Yeah, you're you are renowned, <laughs> and that's the the first uh, bit of Lady Backbird. You guys escaped the brig. Woo! Congratulations! Budget. Right. So, uh, but really quickly before that ends, I I want to turn to size. So, why didn't you just teleport me from the, the beginning? <laughs> 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 I was wondering this. Thing. <laughs> I was. Uh, you know what? It's a special occasion thing. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. the episode. So- it.